what's up everybody welcome to another episode of the knowledge bomb boom what's up today we're gonna go over jefferson curls uh or like super uh stretching deadlift things on the slant board all right so check these out first off this shit is hard and i don't ever really bend my back this way which is probably a problem because you got to make it stronger and i need my hamstrings to be looser and as i'm now jumping at the rim again uh, I'm figuring out how important this is. And so the slant sled, which I actually created in this noggin and built it, you're gonna go here first. So first off, this shit right here, ooh, my calves are kinda tight. This is, this is difficult in its own right. Then on top of it, you want to tuck your chin and roll down through like this. Get down as deep as you can, and then come all the way back up, all right? But when you add the slant portion of it, I go eight to 12 reps, that changes everything. Usually the first set is rough. And the plan is, is to get below your feet, <laughs> all right? So we're gonna do some real time here. So tuck, trace it down, stretch it down, ah, back. Ooh. Actually, that's pretty good for the first one. It usually takes me a couple. I'm trying to really focus on getting tight. Stretch. And when I come back up like this, I felt a crazy stretch in my calves too. I'm trying to get the mobility increased. I try not to rush the descent so I don't surprise anything yeah. let it get a chance to really engage Let's see if I can get below on this one so these are like I do like one set a day but then a couple days a week I work up a little bit to like three sets to eight with like a little bit heavier be super careful with it use it as mobility and I think it's a really key exercise to add uh, to the equation. 